What up everyone? Uh, it's Derek here. I am installing the stove jack on my tent right now. I kind of already started but I'm going to show you what I uh, did to get it ready. Alright, so what I ended up doing was finding exactly where I want to put the stove jack. And then I traced around it with a marker all the way around. And then um, this section here is uh, Velcro, but since this is only going to be a hot tent, I decided to just uh, glue this entire thing right on there rather than going and getting Velcro and gluing the Velcro on here when... I don't even have a, a rain flap to cover that. So there's really no sense of putting any Velcro on here. And I'm just gonna make this a stove jack permanent. So what I did was I measured an inch and a quarter in, and then I traced another line all the way around. As you can see, I started cutting it. <clears throat> but I traced another line all the way around. And then now I'm gonna cut this out. And then what I'll do is I'll put my stove jack on there like that. I'm going to put it Velcro side down. And then uh, there will be a, a bead of silicone all the way around here. And I will hold it down with some weight and let it uh, sit there and cure. And uh, that'll be that. Then I'll be ready for my, uh, my, camping, my hot tent camping tomorrow. So I'm going to get my camera set up and uh, I'm going to cut that out, cutting it out with scissors and then I'll move on to siliconing it down. So now I'm just going to trace this inside line with the scissors, cut it all the way around. And as you can see I've got a a little paperweight down there holding the tent down for me. You definitely want to be careful. You don't want to mess this up. You don't want to cut the... Calm down, Cleo. You don't want to cut the wrong line. <laughs> Maxwell got Cleo barking. There we go. There's the hole. Oh, all done. <laughs> no, just kidding. I'm going to show you. So I decided to put a piece of paper in here to catch any squishage of the silicone out that way so it doesn't get stuck to the other side of the tent. Um, paper's not going to be that big of a deal. I can rip the majority of the paper off if it does get um, stuck to the silicone, which is no big deal. So this is what I'm using. Uh, this is actually high heat silicone. I used it to uh, replace some parts, or when I replaced some parts in my uh, pellet furnace. So I figured this stuff ought to be uh, just as good to use on this and it should stick to it without a problem. If it doesn't, then I'll peel it off uh, at another time and use something else. So now I'm going to use this inside uh, or outside line rather as a marker and I'm just going to put a bead on a zigzag pattern back and forth all the way through here, all the way around. 
and uh, then apply this. You definitely want to make sure that this is flat and you don't have any wrinkles in it because that could end up, you know, potentially causing you a problem with leakage and, and stuff like that. All right, I decided to just make one good solid bead all the way around. Then I put four dabs on each corner. And now... We're gonna apply this down. Now this is where concentration really counts. You don't wanna screw this up. I got my lovely kids in the background yelling and screaming, as you can hear. out there and a little bit right there okay now I'm gonna finish this up a little bit and check back in in a second okay so what I did here and up here where I had a little bit of uh, silicone squishing out um, I just took that center piece that I cut out of my tent and cut little strips and just laid them right there so that way the silicone doesn't end up sticking to the the weight that I apply to this while the silicone is curing. Now after the silicone is cured, um, it doesn't take long, I'm going to end up uh, putting a bead all the way around this stove jack just to ensure that nothing leaks in through the seam that I created all the way around there. So here's some of my weight. <clears throat> this is uh, my deck sealer that I didn't get around to seal on this fall. So it's going to, going to work as my counterweight. Now let's see, I think I'm going to lay this one down. So that way I know pressure is going to be applied to the whole thing. And now... Set the toolbox on it. Now that's definitely plenty of uh, plenty of weight to hold that down, so that way it'll uh, it'll have good pressure to keep that silicone squished out and uh, the stove jack and the tent bonded together. So I'm going to leave that like that for a few hours and. Uh, I'll check back when I run that bead of silicone around it. Alrighty, it's been, I don't know, two, three hours or so since I um, applied this with the silicone. I'm going to just run a bead of caulk, uh, silicone all the way around it. Same stuff. Just want to smooth it out a little bit. Gonna take down the. Uh, it's easier with your finger. Take down the big old bead of cock, some silicone rather. Sorry. It's not gonna be the prettiest job, but it'll serve its purpose.
out quite a bit on that side. And uh, doesn't matter how how it looks or whatever, just as long as you got a good seal all the way around, no service purpose, and keep the water out. And there you have it. So now I just got to let that cure, and uh, it'll be ready to go. I'll be able to take it out tomorrow and go on my. First trip of the season and uh, I'll be able to use the stove so there you have it all right thanks for watching like subscribe share comment and have a great day